We're now joined by Ron Jacobson in Los Angeles. He's an entertainment reporter. Thank you for being with us. We don't have much time, but let me ask you the reaction today after the Golden Globes to that uh, some of those political moments during the ceremony. There were several speeches that made allusions to Donald Trump. Here's a headline of the New York Post, and the whiner is, so here you go. I mean, everybody is uh, saying that this is maybe too going too far with this whole liberal anti-Trump rhetoric. We've seen it at uh, Golden Globes. Uh, hopefully, it's going to continue into the Oscars, because I personally feel that at some point, America, who has voted for Trump into president, you know, won't like Hollywood anymore. Yeah, I mean, he, he won the Electoral College, and, and he is the president-elect. He'll take the oath of office soon. All right, so we have a minute left. So as a precursor to the Oscars, you know, the Golden Globes are generally considered a, a way of making Oscar predictions. Who are your favorites? And tell me, what do you think was the biggest snub of the night, someone that should have won that didn't? So Manchester by the Sea should have won for best uh, movie, whereas Marcella Ali should have won for Moonlight, uh, best supporting actor. But I think they broke a record there uh, last night. Uh, La La Land, which was nominated for seven awards, went home with all the awards. That's something that has never happened at the Globes, where a movie that was nominated for a certain awards actually gets to win all of them. So, Ron, are they the is La La Land, which is a big hit here in the Middle East even, is this uh, the clear favorite, do you think, for the Oscar? Uh, yes, but again, nothing is certain until that envelope is open. All right. A lot of drama when it comes to cinema. Thank you for your time. Appreciate your perspective in Los Angeles, California. All right, that's all the time we have for you right now here at I-24 News. But, of course, we continue to follow breaking news from around the world. So stay connected with us for all the latest developments. Visit our website, i24news.tv, and follow along with us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for being with us. For I-24 News, I'm Jeff Smith.